Proxy War, along with the second film of the series, Deadly Fight in Hiroshima, are really where the Yakuza paper series kicks into high gear, showing the true nature of Yakuza life. In this case, with Proxy War, focusing more on Shozo Hirodum. Where the sophomore film in the series introduced a new character and followed him through his induction into the Yakuza until his, until his ultimate death, Proxy War returns us to following... Bunta Sugawara's character, Shozo Hirono, as factions in the old guard start playing the new generation of Yakuza against each other, while Hirono himself tries to reconcile this current change of events and chain of events with the Yakuza Code of Honor. As with the previous film in the series, Proxy War tightens up the cast and also tightens up the scope of the film. Where the first film covered almost a decade in 90 minutes, this film sticks with a couple years of time, as Hirono's crew gets caught up with the schemes of their competitors, before being ultimately torn apart in the struggle over who will control Hiroshima. Stylistically, this film is along the same lines as the earlier two installments of the series. Lots of handheld camera work with deliberate camera shake. Fight scenes are rough and chaotic, both in terms of how they're shot and how they're fought. This causes particular problems with the gunfight scenes, where no one's really bothering with the vague pretense of aiming. I'm not expecting people to try to show markmanship, but I am expecting someone who's using a semi-automatic handgun or revolver, or uh, any other sort of handgun like that, doing something more deliberate when aiming other than pointing their gun in the general direction of the target, squeezing the trigger, and hoping that the bullet actually hits what they want to hit. This may be asking a lot. I don't know. I'd like to think that I'm not asking too much, but I could be wrong. Proxy War ends up on a much more significant cliffhanger than the first two films. While the first film ended with Hirono deciding to take his own path, and the sophomore film ended with the death of the film's lead, in Proxy War, or the film ends with little settled. The war has begun, but it's up to the events of the next film to settle it. The only thing clear of this film's conclusion is its reiteration on the film's of the thesis and the series thesis. The Yakuza, as a group, has pretense and shows illusions, public illusions, of believing in tradition and honor and having their own code, but really no one actually believes that, not anyone who really matters. Instead, the Yakuza and the Yakuza life just chews you up and spit you out, and your superiors will show you no respect, not in life and not in death. Next time, the public responds to the gang war tearing apart Hiroshima in the Yakuza Papers Part 4. Police tactics. Once again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, Please like and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe and get you notified when future episodes come out. And liking lets me know that you enjoyed the episode. The video on the right will be of the previous episode of Nintendo Power Retrospective, if you want to go see what I reviewed previously that on that show. And the video on the left will take you to the previous episode of Breaking It All Down, while well, you'll get to see what I covered there. And below that will be a link to my Patreon page if you wish to back the show. Backing the show can get you a mention in the credits, and also, depending on your level of support, you can determine what I do future Let's Plays of on Breaking It All Down and what else I review on that show as well. So go ahead and click on that and back the show. Also, backing the show helps me get the show out more often and improve the production quality of the show, which is good for everybody. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.